In this lesson, you will learn how to use the keyframer. The keyframer is a very useful FX in TV Paint. It allows you to move an object from a position to another one, and it interpolates automatically between both positions. So first, let's open the keyframer. Motion, keyframer. You'll notice this effect is a little bit more complex than the other effects we have already seen, already studied in the previous lessons. So we can change the different position elements like the X, the Y. We may also change the pivot. So actually, when you change the pivot, the pivot stay at the same place and you move the object around the pivot. Changing the pivot can be useful, especially if uh, you need to make any rotation. So for example, if you need a rotation on this axe, or on this axe, or on this axe. You can also change the aspect, like the width or the height. Or you can also check this uh, little box in order to change the size, but keeping the aspect. So now let's move this little square. So I will put it here like this, just by clicking on the handle just here. I will create a key. And then I will go at the end of the layer. Don't forget to give a duration, as usual. And now to move the square, I will take the handle and I will pull the string like this. And now I can move my square like this. I can eventually uh, create some steps in the move. I mean, if I don't want to have such a linear move, I can create a step. So we'll click here on the handle in order to move my square like this. I can also move the keys by clicking on the key and make it move like this. And here we are, we have a new path. I have the possibility um, to use some splines because here we have many angles, it's not very smooth. So let's make a right click on each angle and use the spline mode. I hold the click and I will have little spline handles to move in order to uh, make this movement smoother. If you don't want to see all the HUD elements, you can disable by unchecking this little box. And eventually, if the rhythm doesn't suit you, you can change it by clicking here on the speed profile. We will click here to have the profile. And if you have watched the tutorial about the camera move in the animatics and storyboard part, you will understand it works more or less the same. I mean, I just have to, for example, use this plain mode and Plane here on the rhythm to have then something completely different. So here we are playing with a speed curve and here without the speed curve. So here the movement is really constant. There is another tab in the keyframer just here 
and this tab is called the source. In this part, you can define a source to move an element. It looks a little bit like the image source effect that I taught you on another tutorial. So for example, if I don't want to use my uh, rectangle, but I would like to use something else like this butterfly from another project. So this butterfly was made on a 3D software and it was exported as an image sequence, then import it into TV Paint. I will use this butterfly, so in the source I will click on Project List Butterfly. I check the preview and automatically the butterfly will follow the path. You also have other elements like, for example, changing the opacity or using motion blur in order to have a kind of blur on the butterfly when it's moving. But it's not over. We also have other very interesting features with the keyframer. Let's just reset everything and I will just use again the project with the butterfly. Great. And let's imagine I would like to move this butterfly like this, you know, making fly like a real butterfly, you know, somewhere here, sometime here, and then it will um, leave the screen. Um, such a path would be really long to do point by point. So we will use another tool that can be found into Windows, FX Tools, Path Recorder. So let's record a path. Let's stop recording. And okay, let's record it. Now I can cancel what uh, the stroke I've done because I don't need it anymore. Then I go back to my FX tag and I check the preview. I go into position tab and on the position part, I'll go into tools, copy from path bin, and I will use the stroke. I will increase the duration of my layer. So we can see the butterfly is tracking the path I have recorded. 